Today I'm gonna tie a little bit of a specialty fly pattern that I use and have used the past few years that has really worked well for me in the fall on both steelhead and trout. And I'm tying this on a fulling mill uh, 5067 nymph hook. This is their check nymph hook. And it's a size 14 and a 1 8 matte black tungsten bead. And I'm using eight aught red thread and it's gonna attach that to the hook shank and I'm gonna take that all the way back to the bend. And the first thing I'm gonna tie in is some mirror flash and this is black peacock. Uh, you could also use flashaboo. Uh, any type of you know equivalent flash material that you have on hand will work. But I do like the black peacock color. Uh, I think it, it just looks really sharp against the body of this fly. And uh, so far the trout and steelhead have thought so too. For the body, I'm using Super Bright. Uh, if you've never used these Super Bright colors by Wapsi, they're they're awesome. Like they're incredibly vivid. Uh, the you know these are technically the steelhead colors, uh, the fluorescent. Uh, the fluorescent orange here is what we're using for the body. I don't dub this this body super tight. Um, I like it to be just a little bit beefy. So you know a little bit shaggy and um, you know just a, a lot of movement in the water. Now I'm going to wrap that mirror flash over top of our body. Pull them pretty tight because that dubbing is slick and uh, sometimes that mirror flash will have a tendency to move around on that dubbing if you don't tie it tight enough but not so tight that you're actually stretching the material. And for the hackle, I'm using a Whiting Genetic Coke de Leon hen saddle. And I'm gonna show you something here real quick. And on my, in this hand, left hand, this is a uh, Whiting wet fly hackle, also a hen saddle. But it shows you the difference between the wet fly hackle, which is long and narrow, versus the Coke de Leon hen saddle, which is a lot broader and more in line with what you use for soft hackle flies. Um, this is a great replacement for Hungarian partridge. The Hungarian partridge, I found, uh, can be really hard to find a good pack of it. Um, it always seems like there's a lot of waste. The feathers are brittle and sometimes the colors are inconsistent. You can find some that are really grayish and sometimes are really brownish, but when you buy one of these hen saddles of the Coke de Leon, uh, you can rest assured you're going to find a consistent coloring throughout. And uh, this is brown speckled here that I'm using for this particular pattern. And it's just a really great uh, product that they produce, I have found, and uh, makes for a really nice looking fly. So it's a great alternative to Hungarian partridge uh, if, you're, if you're looking for one. Stroke some of those fibers back. And we're just gonna make a couple wraps. Well, maybe only about two wraps. I don't mind tying a, the hackle fairly thick, or at least uh, thicker than I want sometimes, because if it turns out that there's too many, you know, I can always break them off. It's not a big deal. But I can't add them on there once I'm done tying it. And also, after a catch or two, that'll naturally start to, to get sparse. Hopefully, after you've caught a few fish. To finish it off, I'm going to use a little bit of dubbing again for a collar. And just make a little bit of a thread hot spot whip finish. And we're done. Like I said, this is just a nice uh, fall pattern that I use for October caddis imitation. I uh, use on trout as well as steelhead and uh, tie us up mainly in a size 14. Sometimes I'll go larger if you have, you know, large caddis in your area, like a size 10 or whatever. Don't be afraid to tie it as large as a size 10. Um, or also down to a 16 or 18. But this is a pattern that, you know, I've started using the past few years that has just really worked well for me. And uh, I know it'll work well for you too. Thanks for watching.